Are Transformers radioactive? In Transformers 2007, we saw how a secret governmental team detected a strange energy on Sam Witwicky, the protagonist. Now, what kind of energy is this? Well, the first thing we need to know is that this detector was a detector that analyzes ionizing particles. Ionizing particles are bad. That is to say, if that detector goes off like crazy in real life, that person, object, or transformer is emitting energy so powerful that it shatters the electrons around it. It causes colossal damage, which means that if the lore were real, in about seven days, Sam's body and everyone around him should be vomiting, losing their hair, and slowly dying. They would suffer internal burns. Death would be inevitable in less than two weeks. Now then, in the movie's logic, the detector goes off, but the energy emitted by the Transformers is not necessarily radioactive or malignant to humans, which makes absolutely no sense. Why? It's like saying I'm going to stab you with a knife, but I'm not going to cause a wound. So the conclusion is clear. In real life, yes, Transformers are radioactive and lethal to human beings. In the world of fiction, no, it is simply a magical energy.